here we are again, fam. Just you and me for another episode of My Life with Yahuwah. Today's life lesson is about humility. It was a hard lesson for me to learn because after Friday night fights, I was riding on a high that I had never been on before. Some of the children were even calling me Muhammad Ali at that time. I really felt that I was the man that I had finally arrived. I remember walking around with my head up and my chest out because in those days it was easy for me to let my ego get in the way. Even though I wasn't reading the scriptures, there was a valuable lesson that I was about to learn. And that lesson was that pride comes before the fall. As you listen to my life story, Nothing ever happens in a normal manner. And what I mean by that is you would think that I fought another individual and they got the best of me. Well, that's not what happened at all. Let me explain. Now this particular morning, I was getting ready for school and my mother had already gone to work. So I was home alone. So I decided to take a nap since I had a little time before I had to be at the bus stop. As I laid across the bed and closed my eyes, I heard a voice say very loudly, get up and go quickly. I sat up in the bed and looked around to see where that voice came from. And I asked, who is it that's talking to me? It was a woman's voice that I could hear so clearly. And she said to me again, get up, arise go quickly. I could feel the urgency in her voice. It made me afraid and it let me know that something or someone was coming for me. So I needed to get out of there. I jumped off the bed and started running for my bedroom door. And when I reached the door, whatever this woman was warning me about met me in my doorway. It hit me so hard that it picked my body literally off the floor and knocked me all the way back onto my bed. I did not see anyone or anything but I could hear a wind blowing in my room. But nothing was moving as it normally would when the wind blows. So I laid there as if whatever it was held me down. And I could tell that it was looking at me and I felt it as it leaned in toward me and whispered in my ear and the words that he said and I quote if I could kill you I will kill you right now end quote it was at that moment I heard another wind 
that came into the room and it picked whatever this being was up off of me and carried it away. I started shaking and crying and I jumped up and I ran as fast as I could out of the house. I left the front door open and I ran down to the bus stop to catch the bus to go to school. The other kids could see that I was visibly shaken, but I would never tell them what happened to me. All throughout the day, I asked myself, why would someone want to kill me? I had done nothing to them that I knew about. So you know what I did after school, right? I called my godmother. Mama, I wasn't going back into that house until I could understand what happened to me that day. Mama told me that I needed to sit down, that she had some things that she needed to explain to me. She said that I was different that I wasn't like everyone else. That Yahuwah had a plan for my life. And she said, many are called, but few are chosen. And for whatever reason, Yah has chosen you. And the spirit that was fighting you That was Satan, who is our enemy. And he also knows that Yah has chosen you. So I asked Mama, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to fight someone that I can't even see? And then she said some things to me that I did not understand at the time. She said, the battle is Yahuwah's. He will fight my battles. You see, I was trying to figure out if the battle is yours, then how did I get in the middle of it? Who pulled me? Mama knew that I didn't understand what she was saying. So she said to me at that time, you draw closer to Yahuwah? He will draw closer to you and he will explain to you what is going on through his word. So I started that day reading the scriptures and I would like to read for you from the Hallelujah scriptures, the 23rd Psalms, which was my first encounter with Yahuwah's word. Yahuwah is my shepherd. I do not lack. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns back my being. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread before me a table in the face of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of Yahuwah to the length of my days. Well, fam, we've come to the end of this lesson. And I will pick up again next week where I left off because this story is not finished yet. And don't forget to check out my book, The Journey of Two Men. 
also down on my knee, which is available on iTunes, along with Closer Than My Mother. Thank you, and be blessed.